Let's do a little breathing and then a metta, loving kindness meditation. So roll out the shoulders a little bit. If you can, see if you can bend a little into the knees and see if that makes the shoulders loosen up a little. And then roll them back and then roll them forward. And see if you can feel the hands with just heavy weights on the end of the arms. And see if by shuffling the shoulders back and forth, you can get a little movement into the hands. And then shake them out a little, shake them out at the wrist. And then maybe the foot wants to shake out as well. Or maybe just the wrists. Imagine you had a bunch of stretchy bracelets with beads on them. See if you could get them to rattle a little. And then take a few steps with the feet, just to feel the feet on the ground. Toes on the ground, heels on the ground, inside edge, outside edge. So all the feet on the ground. Good, good real estate there under the feet. Bend a little into the knees, level out the hips. Maybe that means a little hip roll. And then roll the shoulders around forward, around up, around over, around back, around down. Let it fall. We take a few let it go breaths. So let that big breath fill the belly, fan out the ribs, float the collarbones, tap that breath, open your mouth. Exhale, lean forward a little. Let the breath come out of the mouth. Maybe let the shoulders roll forward. Another big breath in. It's exaggerated or it's soft and small. And then open your mouth just to let the breath go again. You might make a little sound there, might have a yawn come up. Let's just do one more. Shoulders come all the way up to the ears. That big, big lift. You got the lungs expanded. Let's do a little more uh, breathing. And if the, the pace really should be your pace, nothing is more irritating than being behind somebody who's going too slow on the highway or in front of somebody who's going too fast. Have it be your own pace. We do a little standing centering here if you like. Bend a little into the knees. You might like to widen out the feet a little bit. Just to drop in. Take a big breath in. Arms expand. As you exhale, you can let the arms come down in front of you. Maybe relax the elbows, relax the wrists. Let the arms fall. Maintain a roundness to the arms, a roundness to the knees. Let the knees be a little apart. Take a big deep breath in and then see if you can close your eyes or take a soft meditation gaze. Take three deep feeling breaths here. Gong, maybe a uh, little soft breathing exercise. You can move as little as you like or as much as you like. Bend into the knees a little bit. We're going to reach down for something. Keep your good back mechanics here. We don't want to hunch. And then as if you're picking up like a beach ball or the statue for the, I don't know if it's the Emmys or the Golden Globes, and then a person holds up a big golden ball, and then just let it go into the air. Hands start to drift down, knees bend in again, and you return to that kind of base position where you've got a little bend in the knees and the shoulders are soft, suspended from above like a golden thread connects the crown of the head to the sky, rooted in the earth. 
pick it up again. Maybe you come a little lower to find it. But as you pick up this heavy thing, it turns out that it was never heavy and you can just lift it up and let it go. Exhale, hands float down and slow. One more. a little standing six position in the spine. Big inhale, see if you can feel the belly expand and then the ribs float out. And then as the lungs expand, that's what sends your shoulders back. Exhale, lean forward, shoulders come forward in a little hunch. The belly button draws towards the spine. Big inhale, sends the shoulders back. Exhale, coming forward. Maybe you can even give yourself a little hug here. You're really the only person that you can hug right now outside of your family. So maybe when you give yourself this little hug, that's for everybody. You could let go of the neck a little, maybe let it roll around here. call it a letting go breath, like letting go is so easy. You know, the next time you exhale, just hold on to that exhale for a moment. Maybe let the neck relax a little bit. And let your next inhale float you back up. Take the, let's call it the left arm overhead. Pick the fingers up as if they were going to go and touch the ceiling. And then just drape a little bit. And then the other side. Lift, feel that big space in the ribs, and then just drape. Maybe once more each side. Is there a level of coziness that is too high? into your knees a little bit if you've come up. We'll do a little uh, figure eight with the hips here. So why don't you take the, let's call it the right hip to the northeast, southeast. Left hip goes to the northwest, southwest. Northeast, southeast. Northwest, southwest. And you can make this a big movement. To do that, you might need to bend further into your knees. Anything you feel crunching or not loving this, you might like to bring your feet a little closer together. Or maybe they want to be further apart. And then another thing you could do here, just to be crazy, is let's say the next time you're right hip is in front in that northwest or uh, northeast corner we're going to send the left hip back oh oh we need to reverse it so we've got the the same figure eight that we've been doing we're reversing it and one of these is probably going to feel more natural than the other so maybe we've just opened up it's the one that feels most normal to you and maybe not. 
give it a minute and just see how the body adjusts to it. And you could let the hands hang heavy and just let the arms kind of sway. You could let this movement turn into just a hip circle. And it could be, again, big or little. Take those little movements. They're, they're harder. Sometimes to get a good circle going in a smaller space with the hips, you turn on some of those smaller muscles that are always there to help. Let's reverse again, just for, just to show how flexible we are. And then if you like, and you like that feeling of the empty coat sleeves, go ahead and swing into that. You can pick up your opposite heel to have a bigger swing. Or this swing could be very small. You can have a little tap as the hands tap the body. You can make that into a little percussive massage. Or you could just leave it and just let it go. Let that line down and then offer you a meta meditation for whatever good you may find in it. If you'd like to come down to a seated, stay standing or come to your back, you take another big sun breath in, lift the fingertips, big breath spreads the collarbones, exhale and just come down. You want to take a moment and forward fold. If forward fold is something that feels good to you, go ahead. Loving kindness or meta meditation is a subject of actually a fair bit of research. And as you come to a comfortable space that you could sit in for five, 10 minutes, uh, you could think, well, I'll look up all this research because science uh, is making me feel so much better right now. Or you could say, does the world need more love? Does the amount of love in the world need a little boost? And can I give it that? Do I need more love? They talk about the, the example of the airplane. So the masks drop out of the ceiling. And the first thing they tell you to do before you do anything else, before you check anything, before you touch anything, they tell you to take that mask and put it on. Because if you can't breathe, you're not gonna be able to help anyone. So take this moment and make sure that you're breathing. all the kindness that you want to bring into the world, make sure that it starts with you being able to breathe. So take that big, deep breath in, shoulders come up, exhale, let everything fall. Shoulders fall down the back, no strain, no pain. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May my actions contribute to happiness and freedom for all beings everywhere. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Stemma Omangala Mantra Find a comfortable position for your knees, for your hands. Change that at any time. Notice your breathing. Let 
go deep in. Let be. Relax. And think of loving kindness. May I be happy. May I be healthy and strong. May I be filled with beauty. May I be resilient. May I ride the waves of whatever may come. With grace and gratitude for my many blessings. With courage with kindness, with joy. With care and love. Think of someone you love, someone you know who is very easy to love, someone who attracts love, who is lovable, someone who seems to have it all together. And maybe that person is you. Think of that person. May you be happy. May you be healthy and strong. May you be filled with ease. May you be resilient. May you ride the waves of whatever the world offers with joy grace, with gratitude for all of your many blessings. With kindness to yourself and others. With compassion and love. someone who is harder to love, someone who is prickly or difficult, someone who is toxic in some way, either in their behaviors, in their interactions with the world, or even with you. And that person could be you. Think of that person. May you be happy. May you be healthy and strong. May you be filled with ease. May you be resilient. May you ride the waves come your way with joy, with grace, with gratitude for all of your many blessings, with kindness and compassion, first to yourself and then to others, with love. We are the ocean made of drops. There is no separation. We are together. Whole and complete. May we be happy. May we 
be healthy and strong. May we be filled with ease. May we be resilient. May we ride the waves of whatever may come with joy, with grace, with gratitude for all our many blessings, with kindness and compassion to ourselves and others, with love. 